Hey everybody, happy Friday. Uh, this is Dr. Rosenfield, the Pearl Women's Center. And uh, today I'm gonna talk to you just for a minute or two about the uh, recent increased volume of patients that we've been seeing uh, that have the uh, Esher implants, the uh, permanent contraceptive uh, that was um, originally brought to us by Conceptus, then later, uh, later Bar uh, Bayer Pharmaceuticals. And as many of you know, um, this device is no longer going to be available in the United States, and there are thousands of women internationally that are now coming forward with problems related to the Esher implants. Um, we are one of uh, several practices across the country um, that are offering removal of the Esher implants with a very specific approach. Um, it is incredibly important to first get imaging and make sure that we know not only how many implants were placed, but specifically where those implants are located. Uh, it's also very important to make sure that during the removal of the implants that the devices themselves are not disrupted. Uh, there's been a significant amount of concern that the polyethylene terephthalate fibers that are within these implants, um, if that um, uh, is left behind in the patient, it can lead to some significant inflammatory reactions. We're hearing about people with um, debilitating symptoms, including autoimmune reactions to this stuff. So very important to make sure that your physician's aware of these things. Um, the surgical approach in our practice is laparoscopic. We can either remove the fallopian tube if the device is completely contained within the tube, which can be uh, ascertained on a hysterosalpingogram. Um, maybe more optimally would be to take out the fallopian tubes along with the uterus in patients that are agreeable to that simply because of the multitude of problems that we've seen when the hysterectomy is not performed at the same time as a removal. However, for some women who really don't want to have a hysterectomy, it's also possible to either remove the fallopian tube or the upper part of the uterus, the uterine cornua, uh, with a corneal resection technique, also which can be done laparoscopically at our facility. There are doctors that are doing this operation open and that's completely reasonable, uh, but at our facility we believe uh, that the minimally invasive approach is just a better pathway for some of our patients. Of prime importance though is just making sure you get educated about the implants themselves, the problems that people have been experiencing, and then by all min means uh, uh, seeking a doctor that does a high volume of surgery uh, when it comes to this type of thing. Uh, there are definitely a lot of physicians out there um, that are uh, offering these services. Just please make sure you do your due diligence before you go see somebody. And if you have any questions, uh, we always welcome questions at the Pearl Women's Center uh, for folks that are looking for assistance. Thank you and have a great day.